Scythe, so that's going to work out really good. That was Crash and Weaver, instead of a... That's a good hero, it's really good against Life Stealer because you can just kite him for days. Like Life Stealer always just want to slow you and run you down and kill you, but Weaver can just deal with that very easily. Fiji Gaming has been playing Weaver on Yang, by the way. Also As playing. a heads up. Yeah, you, you can lane that against Life Stealer and it's yep. fine. Put the and, pressure. Uh, they have no lockdown at all right now, no stuns, so... He can also go for the save. I don't know if he's on the Aghanims, but I know the uh, offlane Aghanims was pretty popular for a while, especially if you like Necro. Yeah. The scary thing for Necrophos this game is you actually like can't reliably use Ghost Shroud ever, especially if there's a Shadow Demon. He just dis he ults you, and you can't Ghost Shroud. It just insta-dispels it. Oh, man. Yeah. I thought we were going to ignore this Bounty Hunter. There he is again. Bounty again. And will that be a core? Double invis, right? There's a Nyx yeah. and a Weaver. The track became a lot more valuable. I don't think it matters too much against the Nyx, but Weaver will be super good against... Yeah. Yeah. Just keeping an eye on him, but still, that's not a stun hero, so the Weaver getting in, he will get his ult off. And just a racer and life, so they have kind of slow damage as well. Five seconds remaining. Should be a very good Weaver game. Kind of like just putting him safe lane, though, making sure he's, he's got a lot of farm. Mm. So that they... means we're, we're saving FY's hero for last? Unless they just do a quick swap at the end and they make the bounty support, but I think more than likely we're saving, for, yeah, FYS hero last. What heroes are there left, though? They took out the lion. I think there's like, if they want disable, it's like, do you want to go for something like shadow shaman? They need some type of, they need some type of lockdown. Tiny has lockdown. You like yeah. tiny here? Um, Tony's good against Weaver. Like you just burst them super quickly, so tiny's, tiny's pretty good. I still like Rust as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, you mentioned it before. Yeah, bring it back. 19, though? Yeah. All the links be... Vichy. Vichy's got pretty strong links right now. Yeah, they do. I definitely think having somebody with a reliable stun that is going to go off every time would yeah. certainly help out here. This is going to be pretty rough. Although, Vichy Gaming, I don't know about this Necrophos, how easy of a time he's going to have. He got Shadow Demon saves, which are great. He's got to wait until Life Stealer's inbuilt BKB is down, too. But Not yeah. sure about his Lena also. If that, you think that's Necro mid against Racer? Racer, sh Racer should deal with that easily, right? Yeah, Racer should win that. I think, yeah, Vichy Gaming yeah, really have a lot depending on this Weaver doing well, because I'm not sure Necrophos is going to be as effective as they might be seeing him be this time. So last man coming out. Let's see here. <laughs> Did you just ban out the troll? The troll! Yeah. It's just like the Nyx, it's a like disruptor Nyx could be supports, Weaver safe lane, they could still, like... If it's not that Weaver offlane. Sure. It's banned. They ran out the Ursa? Okay, cool. There's a one way to deal with Life Stealer. Jump on him and blow his ass up mm -hmm. before he's able to heal up or do anything. Physical damage? They don't have good. Vichy doesn't have a good objective taking right now. Weaver is their tower push and their uh, Roche taker. Yeah, and their carry. Yeah. yeah. And their everything. Yeah. <laughs> so. This is a little bit worrisome though, because I feel like LGD can just run right in Vichy Gaming's face and just run them over. Yeah. I feel like they need a fat, fatty hero now. Or something to just stop the, the aggression. Did see a centaur earlier. A uh, little bit of extra runaway. Yeah. FY's played that before as a support as well. Yeah. I just want some type, any type of stun. Some some good stun. Shaker, Shadow Shaman. Uh, not, I don't know about Tusk. Tusk looks, no, not really. FY. What you what got for us? play this game? They're choking 15 seconds on the last pick. It's not good. <laughs> they're not but choking. They're waiting. They're no, thinking. No, no, no. I think it's choking. like, do we want this four position bounty? Oh, okay. Earth Spirit. That's a great pick. Ooh, a brood. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Brood, mama. Ooh. That hero sucks, though. Doesn't that hero not good anymore? <laughs> it seems to suck a lot. It should be good this game. Uh, how does Racer do against Brood? You're really, you're not fast, right? Racer links to you. <laughs> Yeah. Can he deal with spot? Maybe he can deal with spiders. I'm not sure how the matchup works out. I haven't seen Brood in ages, but it's Yang on the Brood, so it's Ori mid. What the? I mean, this is a god tier Earth spirit pick. That provides everything they needed. They needed stun, they needed silence, and he gets both. But is it a god tier Brood mother pick? That's the question. Yeah, oh god. This Brood could just run over the game. I haven't seen Brood in so long, I have no idea. Bulldog, do you want to take the lead on this one? Hmm. 
Yeah, sure. I see a brood. Makes me want to puke a little bit. <laughs> and uh, was it Yang playing it? So I'm not sure how they would lane this. I mean, you have to pick brood middle, right? So, I mean, I'm definitely going to go LGD. I see FY, Earth Spirit. Smashing time. LGD I for one. Concur. I love the Earth Spirit last pick. And I don't know what brood does right now. So I'm not sure. I'm going to go with the bug boys. All right. Double bugs, double fun. Let's see it. Where's the catch? There's three. I'm um, thinking PSDL GD. Triple bugs. Nyx Assassin, Weaver Brood. Yeah, the bug boys. The bug boys. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, once again, vote for your MVP during the game. And for this third game, we're once again heading over to Moxie and Lizard. The bug bros, three bugs on one side. What do you think about that, Moxie? I don't know. That Brood Mama. Man, it's been a while since we've seen one of those, but... Uh... Well, we're going to find out. Do you um, believe in the bug draft? I don't You're my believe, analyst. Tell I, me. I don't believe in the bug drafts. I really don't think that they're going to be able to do a whole lot with that brood mother, especially considering you are going to lane her versus a razor, right? Most likely. Yeah. And th that razor with the new passive can definitely deal with the brood. It's going to be difficult. Well, this is a place where we've seen some interesting picks. We saw the Ancient Apparition mid before and had some uh, interesting choices, so... Who knows? Maybe this is maybe this is gonna be the new meta. You know, we're still trying to figure out what it is that works. Maybe it is the all bug draft, but uh... all bug draft, and it is gonna be mid as we do see two tangles shared to that brood mother. So all right. Uh, the the thing is, this is how the brood mother works. Like you can't counter this hero on mid. Besides, with I believe Kunka and perhaps Tiny, mm -hmm. everything else kinda works. But Broodmother is still going to creep skip. She's still going to put a couple of webs around your shrine, around your tier 2 and tier 1. And she's going to farm both the jungle and your, and your waves. Uh, can you put a hero that scales just as well with those first creep waves given completely freely to him under the tower is the question. I think Razor is fine in that aspect. This hero with the Atos is going to allow you to even catch the Brood afterwards. So... So you think this mid matchup is going to be absolutely fine for Razor, or do you think it's going to be? I'm a not certain. I, I, just like Fox said, I haven't really seen Brood way too many times recently. Like I haven't seen her. I don't think any of us have seen Brood recently. It's been uh, been a while. Mm -hmm. However, I, I uh, recently Furion popped back into the meta, and I've seen the matchup of Furion versus Razor. You have those summons, you have the Treants, and they were dying 24/7 versus the Razor uh, Razor's passive. If XM does go for that passive and levels it up, which I believe he will. So, uh, if Broodlings are similar to Trians, which they are, like the summons, they do have the magic resistance, but I believe they will be falling. There's a skirmish over here for the runes. We'll right. see two of them go over to the side of Ichi, two going over to the side of PSG LGD. Mm, talking about other lanes, though, they have this Weaver that... Uh, that bug, the second bug, is decent versus Nikes, also cannot really be linked by a Razor as you can run away. So in that aspect, it's a good bug. And the third bug is the Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin punishes Nike super hard once he gets that Radiance, as you have a constant uh, way of initiating on him from Invis with that Spike Carapace. You don't even have to connect with the stun. Yeah. You see that leech coming out, though, from XM. Just going to leech off some of that damage. These first few waves are very important for the Brood Mother not to be completely shut down. He needs to get level 2, he needs to get that level 3, so that he can farm with his uh, little spiders. I'm interested in watching X Nevo here. Ori is going to get open wounds and will connect that roll nice and pale coming out. Though sends him up. Should be able to walk away, although One they've got stack. a lot of stacks of this. This is going to be a dead Ori right gone. there. Shadow Demon Shadow used Demon to be. Is so strong here. Oh, is he going to be? They, he's still getting chased by DY. DY oh. wants it the roll, though. Oh, FY with the saves. Right there. What a bro. Hmm. They turn this around on him. They've got a healing salve right now over here on the Shadow Demon. He has mangoes, but. He's got a couple stacks. Needs a bit more, though. Oh, one more stack. He's, he's almost got, got it. X Nova, he wants it. There's the fifth one. Uh, Not no, quite no. enough. We'll get impaled. Maybe a little too greedy here from X Nova. Still trying to put out as much damage as he can before he gets yeah, Where's FY? Goes off to that fountain. FY, FY is uh, doing some shopping, clearly. Yeah, just shopping, chilling. No big deal. Good well, friend cancel out the health, though. Yeah. Rolls right on past. Yeah, that was a little bit interesting because I, I saw them killing that Nyx 100% if Earth Spirit followed up. But instead, the Shadow De Demon was left alone, lonesome. Does not manage to get that kill, does die in, in turn. However, he is sent to base, so he's going to have full mana to work with now again, which is kind of neat. 
I think you're okay with that as a shadow demon. You know, you put out a lot of harass as well, make them burn through the region. Double damage win picked up for XM, huh? Mm -hmm. How is how is the brood mama doing here? Got 12 and 1 right now, starting to build up that army. Mm -hmm. 12 CS has to be super careful about these spiders. Let's just see how much damage that passive deals. It's a, huh? decent. It's a decent amount, but they do region quite a lot. But you still have to be a bit more careful. Before, Broodmother versus Razor was 100% Broodmother favored. You just dominate super hard. The roll forward again, trying to get some damage up onto Ori. They get the impale off, slow him down just a little bit. X Nova, though, slowly but surely stacking up that poison. We'll get banished up here. It's going to take a little time Ori's for this bubble. Turn back around. Ori trying to get himself away, but there's too many yep. bodies holding him in place. He will pop. That's another kill coming off there. There we go, Stun. Uh, he's got to walk away now from DY. DY just poking at him a little bit. This isn't really the greatest natural lane. They're dual laning here and he is suffering hard. And the problem is even if you bring that disruptor to the top lane and you leave the weaver alone, it's not gonna really help a whole lot. This necro still dies in these engagements. Once they get that roll off, he's just that you cannot use that ghost shot to save yourself as you amplify the shadow demon's damage output then. It's an elegant solution to mm. that necrophos for sure. Still just try to be careful with these spiders. Don't want to give extra gold over here to XM. Yeah, you can see the Tracer does have 27 CS. He isn't really benefiting a whole lot out of that CS. As it is on the sp Oof. He's making it rain though, Lizard. He's making it rain. He gained like 20 gold. <laughs> so it's not super bad for Broodmother. He did not kill the big spiders. But uh -oh. that... Uh-oh. It looks like X Nova, Spike Carapace, trying to run himself away. Should be able to dodge. And again, he just turns around, starts throwing out all of that poison. Rotation coming out from Fade here. Can they find a kill? Oh, I think There's FY a is just yeah, out. Dead. Okay, Disruptor did make that rotation, Weaver is alone on the bottom lane, but at least this is helping the Necrophos somewhat. He is not dying any longer, at least. Well, I think Weaver is okay down here, like, it's not... You know, you obviously want to make sure that you're... Oh, top lane here, or he's still sitting very, very low. We'll just heal himself up with the Death Pulse again. He has nine stacks on, in his Magic Wand. He already itemized very well versus the Shadow Demon, so he's going to be healing up a lot even if he does take some stacks on him. And as you said, Weaver, he's he's all right versus the Bounty Hunter. The problem is when Bounty Hunter buys that chainmail for the face boots, as it becomes a little bit easier. DY in for some trouble. Stone connects. We'll turn around, throw out that uh, thunderclap. Yeah, we Just harass him back. A couple points yeah, in that thunderclap, like you were saying, too, to maximize that damage. Yeah, they're maximizing the thunderclap for the harass. It, it's all right, but at the same time you're losing the catch potential on the glimpse or the kinetic field, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you're all into just sustaining here and just damaging them. Not really. You only have the nix for that stun and that's it. We see the Earth Spirit FY is rotating top once again. They don't really want to let this Nike suffer way too hard, as your Razor is doing quite fine on this mid lane. 57 CS, he's taking down a lot of these spiders, so you don't really have to help him. Just help out your uh, Nikes to get that Midas as soon as possible. That kind of answers our question as to how the laning matchup's going to go here. It's just, uh, seems like Razor is perfectly fine in dealing with these spiders, especially with the change with mm -hmm. that passive, but a bit of harass coming out on X Nova again. It's going to... Go with the banishment, throw out some of that poison. And uh, they'll turn their attention. Ame wants to chase him down, we'll turn his attention now. Over onto DY, lands the impale. Uh oh, it's not looking very good right now for the life He's gonna have to Ame. run himself away. Three stacks, four stacks, and uh, FY, FY's gonna get taken down. Nova trying to run himself oh, away. Snakes. DY is looking for that opening, can he find it? He'll be able to get another kill. And they'll turn their attention over onto the next. Should be able to clean up. No, but the Here's impale comes go. out. Is he gonna stay alive? DY, God, the glimpse comes out again. Trying to juke himself away. That one hand run on him. He run away run. from the hand. You the golden run, hand! Brother, don't let run. it get you! Don't! I know you run. want a Midas, but that's not a Midas, and he's all right. With that rage, he does survive, but that was super close for Ame. That would have been a disaster if he managed to die there. So it's really good that he got away. I think we would have seen tips come out of that happen. Oh, 100%. <laughs> It's very difficult, like, I I can see that FY, he's trying to make those rotations on the top lane, he's trying to roll in, but the problem is Nyx, he's positioned so well, he always positions himself so well that he's just waiting, he's waiting for FY to go in, if FY goes in, Impale is there, instantly after the Impale they take the fight, so he has to wait, 
but while he waits, Necro is just spamming those dead pulses, which are allowing them to win that prolonged fight. Yeah, DY has definitely been on point here. Gonna sap some of that damage as the Spike Carapace up and running over here on XM. He's gonna have to back himself away. The Spider Man, he's not making a rotation. They've got the Thunderclap. XM is being held in place and he pops. Yeah, Spiders, uh, they can die to the Razor, but the nuke from the Brood Mother herself is quite high and they take him down with it, so... Very good rotation. He's been playing with fire down there. There's a couple times we've actually zipped down to the bottom lane to see him very, I, very low. I just want to notify you about the CS mm -hmm. and the network disparity. Like, the Razor has uh, oh, Hold that CS. thought, hold that thought. FY is going to have to roll Limps. right through. They caught him. they got him. So, the Razor 80 CS, Brood 65. But check the network now. 3.7k, 3.8k on Brood, 2.4k on, mm -hmm. on uh, Razor. So, basically, those kills that you are getting on, on these Spiderlings and spider lights, they don't really matter a whole lot. That's three gold. It looks nice. You feel good. You, you hear that gold sound, but it, it isn't really relevant that hard. Mm -hmm. that Ame's money. got his eyes on Ori again. The roll comes through, and they'll so slow him down just a little. Does have that ghost trap? Gonna try to pop a paparazzi, making rotation now. Wants to get the kill over onto Fy. Fy's gonna chase down slowly, but sure, the this little bug. They'll find the kill. And there's gonna be the disruption coming through. Ame is gonna take some time, take that bug off of him. Snova slowly starts building up those stacks of poison again. Vici Gaming, they're realizing what's necessary here. The Brood Mother, leave her alone. Just let her farm the jungle and pressure that mid lane. She, like, she already took down the tier one on her own. Mm, Just these die. two bugs, these bugs, and the Necrophos will find the kill on X Nova. And, oh, XM! XM's getting chased down again by all these spiders. He is managing to take a lot of damage right now. This awesome is... pepper, but the roll comes through. He's just gonna walk away. I think he just forced a couple of rotations. He forced FY to go there, and that's it. I don't think he thought that he can take down that Razor, spe specifically because mm -hmm. of the static link that was oh, yeah. already on him. But this is the way to play versus Nikes. And you ask why isn't Nikes picked so much? The panel was also wondering. He was completely ignored in that first game. He's kind of been figured out. The hero also suffered some nerfs, obviously, to the Midas. But overall, the hero has been figured out in a way that everyone knows that you have to hold that off. Fade, fade, fade. They're slowly catching up to you over here. Nice and pale, slowing down the Razor. In fact, the rotation comes out. We'll get the disruption off. Can they kill him, though? They kill him. That's the big question, Lizard. Got they him. have a scythe with his name on it. Yang now tracing down X Nova. They'll take him down. Chalice. Do they have anything to catch him, though, is the question. No. Bounty Hunter will make it out. Man, Team Bugs, they're dominating right now. Apparently, we should all be picking more bug-related heroes. Mm -hmm. And you know, the fact that they don't have a great solution to the Broodmother probably helps. These bugs are just so aggressive. They're, pres they're pressuring the uh, PSG LGD team so much that I, I don't believe that this uh, Midas is going to be on time. Ten minutes in, he's on 600 gold. They're taking a lot of map away from PSG LGD, and that's what you want to be doing versus Nikes. You want to be pressuring his team as much as possible. You want to be oh. winning the laning stage. More bugs chasing after Chalice. Wimps. There we go. Yeah, right back into that sentry ward. And he's dominating he dominate. on that brood mother. All right. That's a big kill. That's a core bounty hunter. They need more. They need this tier one on the bottom lane. They need to set up the webs to either go for this tier two on mid. They're going for the tier two on mid. All right. You're a brood mother with the dominator. This is what you do. So well, it does also, make sense. how do you deal with this? Well, she is. Uh... I'm gonna get the top tower too. They're making moves. Oh. Roll forward coming out. Yang trying to run himself away. Will get slowed down. Looks like DY in for some reason. Oh, the, the storm is Will great. be able to take him down. And they've got the track now over onto Yang. Yang trying to run himself away as fast as he possibly can. Fade also making that rotation here, but I'm not sure he's gonna be able to get that FY. save here. Turn around. Do they find the kill? They'll find the kill on FY. And now the Weavers joining into the fight. They'll lose Fade. Oh, but they're gonna lose a lot more as Paparazzi goes through. But they still have the track on him. They'll take him out. It's a triple kill for Abe. Oh, that fight, it looked like it might go Wichi's, in Wichi's favor, but I don't think they should have turned. Uh, Razor just took way too much damage away from them. Nikes was there, Bounty Hunter was there, and they wasted all their spells in a defensive move. Disruptor used his ultimate. They, they just had to back out. They, they, they thought because FY rolled in so deep that they can take a fight afterwards, but they instantly get punished. And oh, we got a Holy Locket picked up on Necrophos. Mm -hmm. that, a giant item for him, obviously. Really good. But at the same time, 
I believe that either Earth Spirit or Bounty Hunter, they're going to be getting that vessel very fast. It's such a necessity for them in this game. You, okay, Bounty Hunter isn't. I guess Earth Spirit then. You need a vessel. You need the vessel versus the Necrophos. You need, need the vessel versus the Brood Mother as well. That sustain is going to be real coming out from Ori. They need to keep the pressure up. It doesn't matter that you just lost four. It Obviously, it is harder now, but you need to uh, continue your, your plan. You need to just stay on the strategy. Stay on the aggressive movements. Three heroes hanging out in the mid lane. Don't want to allow this broodmother to just take a tower for free. Uh, Paparazzi going to try to put some pressure over here onto Ame. Going to Shikuchi chasing forward here. Has that bug on him. Trying to get a couple extra pop shots here if he can. He has ticks. He has rage. I think he should be fine here. Yeah. Putting that pressure out. The track is placed over on DY, though. They've got a good way of knowing where he's creeping about. And they'll throw it out over on the Broodmother as well. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Necrophos just solo pushing this bottom lane. And they are turning towards him. You can see four heroes rotating bottom and he instantly bails. Oh, they're, they're tra tracked. They're they tra are they tracked. They know they're in there. They don't care whatsoever. Fresh track being placed over on DY. They know. He's creeping. They don't have the detection just yet. Dust gets if used. If they dust him, they can glimpse him. That's up here. the plan. Yeah. They don't manage to. No. FY rolls Oh, no, there's going to be the static storm dropped again over here. This Earth Spirit is in for some trouble. Disruption comes out, buys him some more time. And they're going to follow up with the plasma field. DY trying to run himself back. They'll find it. FY still alive. He's going to be able to be running after him. Not going to roll away fast enough, though, as that hand finds him. And now Ame, Ame, Ame trying to run himself away. There's so much damage coming out from this Weaver, though. They'll find it with the nuke from the Broodmother. XM now. Trying to fight his way through all of these spiders. The scythe comes out, doesn't he's quite gone. take him down, but he's still dead. He's not going to make it. Even though FY played so well in that fight, he, he gets on top of them. They waste some spells on him. He gets saved by the Shadow Demon. He still pops all his spell, spells out. They cannot fight. Why can't they fight? Because they have the Snikes. This is the weak point of this hero. He doesn't have that Radiance. He He's basically useless in these fights. And they also wanted to contest that Roshan. They wanted to fight around it. While Vichy Gaming has perfect vision around it, they, they have the Nyx, they have the Spiderlings just scouting everything out, and they just baited them so well into that fight. Bottom lane, they have their eyes on DY. DY's tracked up. They're going to try to chase him underneath the tower. Bounty Hunter wants his chalice. Should be able to maybe find one more hit. There it is. Yeah, the sweet Chinada gold and the track kill. He definitely needed that. He's struggling in this game, so... 547 gold for him. Feels good, man. Yeah, this pressure coming out from the Broodmother is something to definitely be concerned about. So did he actually buy a pipe on, on Brood? He did, right? Or was I wrong? Yeah, he's got a pipe. Right, he's got a, he pipe. a pipe. Pipe and Dominator. Huh. A very utility-based item build. This Dominator, I've seen it be bought on Broods with a lot of success. I think it was Matumba that, that started doing it. I'm not certain, but I remember seeing him a lot with the Dominator. There's the Roche Paparazzi gonna grab that Aegis. Right. So what's the play right now if you're PSG LGD? You just wanna buy time for your life. Steal, you're right? basically yeah, you're you're basically just buying time for Ami to get that uh, radiance. He is 2.5k gold. Uh, like he has enough. It's close almost, to that relic. For the relic, yeah. But it's still gonna be a little while before. Just it can a couple be of thousands more and he's got it, so that's a couple of minutes, like 19 minute ish. I believe so. Are they going to get that time though, especially with the Broodmother? Because with Broodmother, your foot is on that accelerator. Yeah, and you, you can see the items them. that they are buying. They're buying the pipe, they're getting the Desolator on Weaver. They're going to have the pushing power on their side. It's on these four heroes of PSG LGD to make some sort of delay movements, like perhaps a team fight away from their base, or, or just make some good team fight for this Nikes to come back. For this Nikes to just stay where he is right now and far. And just look, they can't even contest this right now. They know that they don't have their life stealer in position just yet. They will try to put some pressure on the bottom. You can see those creeps hitting away at tier one, but they're already in position. Track's gonna come out. Yep. They understand that Vici, they have no reason to fall back. They're gonna start pushing high ground, and that's why they're all here on the high ground. Even Nikes is actually porting back, which is a little bit problematic, as he's not gonna be farming. It's a bit risky for sure. We've got the pipe up and running. Snova constantly throwing out the Shadow Poison whenever he can. Bounty Hunter trying to get to a good position here. They're just chewing through this tower. The rolling coming out from FY though. Thinking about doing the initiation. That's a lot of damage on Paparazzi, but he can just time lapse it back. He actually forced the okay. time lapse just with the Shadow Demon and his spam. Which is quite alright, as they're gonna have to fall, fall back a little bit and wait for their cooldowns, if nothing else. 
They do have the Aegis, but they don't want to risk it. Look at the damage they put on the tower, though, without committing too, too hard there. That's true. Next time, that Brute can just solo it with the Spiderlings and one it creep. Just minimal committal, then, you know? What is coming in that courier to Brute, Mother? That's the question. All right. Not, not special. <laughs> you made us so excited to see what it was. I was excited, it. actually. I expected something big, but just threats. All you're right. Hype. You're hype about this game. Just this is just time that PST LDD is just not doing anything. They can't go out there, they can't farm. The Slice Dealer needs farm. He needs to be getting items and he just can't. He's pinned inside the space slowly but surely. In comes the Spider Babies with that pipe. Just chew right through that tower. And just like that, they can leave. They don't have to commit to anything. They've opened up shrines. That's going to be more control of this map. And again, the side of PSG LGT, they need to get out into their jungle. They need to be able to get this lifestealer farmed up. You just go for these shrines now. That's it. You out push your other lanes that have been perhaps pushed in. You do give that Nyx a little bit of breathing space. So he should finish that Radiance until the next fight. But uh, taking down those shrines and just taking control of the map is really important for Vici right now. As they're... When you take down this particular shrine, you're preventing them for, for, from fighting for the next rush with buybacks. You're also preventing them from, for, from porting on that shrine. Oh, oh no, Razor, Razor, Razor is going to get taken down. Killing spree now. It's Nova trying to run himself out, but he's stuck in the middle of the lines. He's not going to be any sights him going out now. Buyback coming out from the Razor, though. They're still chasing down FY. They'll take him out. DUI sitting very, very low. Will be taken out of the fight now as they slowly chase after Ame. Ame, the glimpse comes back, though. Fade has his eyes on. Will pop the range, though. He's actually going to be able to dodge it. Infested. And he's got the infest. Yeah, yeah, I do dodged it with the infest. I thought it was Rage, but Rage was on cooldown. He dodge dodges it with the infest, which is a huge kill. But you only killed one bug. They still have two more remaining. All right. And that bug arguably is the least significant one. The Nyx Assassin, like, he can afford to be dying. I mean, DI has made a lot of... Uh... Yeah, he ports back. Yep. Time's lapse. Goes right back. Yeah. Gets that Desolator. Oh, this Weaver is gonna hurt so much. And one Wait, of the, he already hurts. He already hurts, but one of the biggest issues for PSG LGD right now is the fact that they have no control whatsoever for this Weaver. The only thing that they've got is FY's Earth Spirit, but that's way too much. He's godly on that hero, don't get me wrong, but it, it's just way too much for one Earth Spirit to deal with. He's just a front line, you know? He's very difficult for him to stay alive after he rolls on in. How do you stop this? The Desolator plus the Spider Lights and Spider Links, they're gonna tear down these Raxes in a matter of seconds. Look at that damage. I mean, you just hope that you get enough poison on. High range Rax. Talus, yeah, look at them just chewing through these buildings. Ah, uh, Chalice. It's like they're still gonna focus on the objectives, though. It does have a couple of these guys tracked up. The rolling coming out from FY again. And, uh, oh no, it Rude. looks like they're gonna be able to burst down Yang. Can they get it? Yeah, they'll find it. And they're still on the chase, still have them leashed up here. Nice by Carapace, they'll turn their attention over onto the Razor. Look how hard Paparazzi hits right now. He's going to chase right into the base, wants to get up oh, there. He's gone. They will go and pop the Aegis, and we'll also lose Chalice, though. Isles is all going down. Razor in for some trouble because of that. Spike Carapace, they're going to fight the kill over onto the Razor. As Paparazzi diving in and out and all around the side comes out, they're going to take out the Shadow Demon, too. Ame now chasing after Ori. We'll skip mini stunned here. They really want this kill if they can get it over onto Necrophos. And it looks like this is is gonna go down right now. Ori is taken down. All right, I, I believe they went from 4k difference to 2k difference in network after that fight. And did they take the melee racks? They didn't. So overall, they held. You have that radiance now on Life Stealer. You also have a vessel completed, which is so important. Why? Double damage. Oh, FY. Oh, good kick, but that last hit doesn't really matter any longer. Paparazzi is just styling on them. It's just Look way too hard. How hard he hits! He hits super hard. Also, he's going in for that BKB. Once he gets that BKB, there's no stopping him. Earth Spirit is itemizing properly. He's thinking, "All right, I'm gonna get the Atos. We're gonna get some more control on our side." But I, I don't think he's gonna get it on time. This is a hard game for LGD. Yeah. They do have the Radiance online, though, Ame, you know? He's they stopped that push. They stopped that first snowball. That, that was the first step that they needed to take, and they did it. There, there's still ways to go, but uh, they didn't crumble under that initial pre pressure that Brood Mother brings into every single game. If she has a good laning stage, obviously, which she did, so... Mm -hmm. They definitely play that out really well on top. And the network still looks very good for this life series. It's actually at the top of it. It's got 12k. It's got the Radiance online. So that'll help out in these fights for sure. Radiance.
The longer that this goes, I think the better it's going to feel for LGD, but you have a Weaver that is just... It's also the power of Midas, right? You can just rely on having a better late game because you have that item that mm -hmm. is always going to give you an edge. It's just a matter of surviving until you can get to the late game. I, I like his item build as well. He's going for, for that Halberd, so uh, he's going to evade most of these hits with the Radiance and Halberd, and also it's a way of dealing with the Broodmother and the Weaver. The vessel that they have bought just destroyed Broodmother in that last fight. Mm -hmm. I think she needs a BKB as well. And yeah, BKB is queued up. When, when she was buying those power threads, I was wondering, could she have BKB already? That was my initial thought, because if she had BKB, that last fight is completely different. Casual Dust does connect over onto DY. Doesn't look like they're going to hard commit on it, though. Take down that ward in the mid lane. Got that Sanj completed now for Ame. Chow is just going for Desolator. No utility whatsoever. He thinks that they lack damage. So he's going to go for Desolator and BKB. An interesting choice. Everyone feels very disciplined right now. They're taking their time, they're farming up, they know what items they need to succeed in the next fight. Yeah, they're riding some dragons into battle. <laughs> Got the Dota Game of Thrones going on here. Daenerys. All right. He's pushing out the lanes, though, again. Very disciplined, not looking to get into any fights or skirmishes or any bad positions. They know that uh, they're very dependent on making sure that their life still gets what they need. And of course, you know, the BKB, a very big deal for this bird mother. And Roche is back up and running now, so... I think you, you can't go for Roche until you finish these two BKBs on Broodmother and Weaver. Uh, you can, but you're risking so much. It's so much simpler if you just get the BKBs first and then you go for it. And they're going to wait. You see, he's a couple he's so hundred close. away. Yeah. just finishing up that BKB. Just a little bit more gold. Razor's going to have his own BKB shortly. I don't know. The Weaver hits pretty hard, though. Mm. And if he's got his own BKB and he's allowed to just run amok the entire time. I think that BKB doesn't mean quite as much. It, it doesn't. I, I have to agree with you completely. Uh, on the side of LGD, the BKBs are big, but the impact that Vici Gaming is getting for, from those BKBs is much bigger. Spider scouting out over here. And this is big, the fact that you can get so much vision, right? You've got the vision of the Spiderlings. You can also have DY kind of do a little scouting. And it's a little risky because you know that they're going to be buying sentries. Yeah, you, you can see that they smoked up, but they didn't want to go for uphill as they just want to scout them out, place these wards and go into the pit as they take down Roshan so Dragon, fast. dragon. Dragon, You're going to go right on in. Know that they're in there. We'll force the uh, life stealer to pop back out again. Has to be careful because... He might get Genghis glimpsed here. getting pretty deep the in here. is there, but he infested. Be careful, glimpse. He infested. Yeah, another play. BKB actually getting popped on Chalice, but they're not doing a whole heck of a lot with it. Not the most value here. They're going to turn their attention now. Necropros, the roll-in coming out from FY. Looks like they're going to be able to burst down Chalice. The silence is over here on the Necropros. He's trying to run himself up, but he's going to get taken down as well. Now Ame on the retreat. Wants to run. The BKBs have gotten popped. He's going to get stunned up. Nice save coming out from X Nova, though. Buys him a little bit more time. I don't think it's going to be enough. No, it's a double kill for Paparazzi as he's going to take down Razor. X Nova. Razor on the back end. He wants to finish off DY. Will find the kill, but he's still going to get chased in through these trees. He's they're going to slow just chip him down and that's a team wipe that's a full team fight into the rush pit just perfect execution from Vici gaming they gave lgd they tried and gave everything into that necrophos yeah you take him down but at the same time there's a weaver hitting you there's a brood mother hitting you there's damage from the static storm from the disruptor it's, it's just way too much to deal with and if you are taking 15 20 seconds to take down that necrophos like you're gonna be killed nice and fast there dodges but bounty hunter he just mans up too hard. The Those are that, can't catch up with him. Yeah, they're just way too slow. That Radiance burn, they're not feeling it. Razor is not there. And now they roll with the FY or Spirit into the Static Storm. Those BKBs came in so handy there. And it was a nice save. Or, you know, X Nova was trying really hard, just trying to buy him some more time, but... Yeah, but it, it was just... Cannot get out, no. Exactly. And now XM, he just dies too. Yeah, overall, this fight... I, I just, I'm just not feeling this uh, BKB Dazzle Rush on, on, on the Bounty Hunter and that super aggressive move there. Perhaps he needed to at least wait for his teammates and then they go back in. As they used the Infest, they used everything in the retreat. That BKB wasn't super aggressively used either. 
Mm. I just think that, you know, like you said, Bounty Hunter manned up, but he manned up just alone. Yeah. Just by himself. Yeah. That was the problem. That BKB not doing a whole heck of a lot as he just ran into all of them. And the rest of the team, I feel, I, I, you almost wonder if it's one of those situations where like, no, 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 come on, let's go, let's go. And the team is like, well, I guess we're going. Mm. And unfortunately. Perhaps he didn't realize that he's going to infest into Earth Spirits and dodge the glimpse like that. Perhaps he Perhaps. thought that he yeah. had to go and make that move. Maybe that's the case. It, 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 it sometimes does happen, honestly. But for this level of a team, I doubt that's the case. I think they just made a conscious decision that they want to fight and it wasn't good. All right, it wasn't the high good decision. Round pushes on FY again. He's the front person here for the Slice PG. He's going to get stunned up though. The BKB is going to get popped up and they'll take down FY. They'll turn their attention now over here onto the, over on the back lines. You've got the bounty hunter just running around. Razor and now down. it looks like Ame. Ame trying to get himself away. The spider doing a lot of damage. Jang turning his attention back over here. They'll buy back on the raise. The infest Ame going to be able to take down a lot of those spiders. But the death zone coming out from Bump Burns does so much. Has that spike care is trying to slow down Ame as much as he can. The track is out, and on the back lines here, XM trying to run himself away from these two bugs. Save coming out from X Nova. We'll turn the attention over to him. Glimpse we'll pop. So go right back in over here onto X7. I, I can't see the fight down here. Ame trying to run himself away. He's trying to take down DY, but he's gonna get taken down. The buyback comes out right now from the life stealer. He wants to get this back into as fight as he can. This could but be I don't know right what here. he's hoping to do. What can he do against all of these heroes? He's lost so many of his teammates. It's gonna be the last hurrah as we do see that FY back up and running. But it's FY and Life Stealer against the world as he he rages in, the roll comes out there, trying to slow him down, trying to get the silence off as well. Ame, I mean, he's just in crowd control too hard, he's got the crowd increase in He's gone, around. that's he's just gone. He's out of here. That should be game. I think that, uh, that's gonna be that's game. That's GG, there we go. Vici Gaming. What a performance by the three bucks. We are Bug now Dota. Yeah, three bucks, the Knicks, the Weaver, and the Broodmother. They found...